All right, circuit band out here from 0907 for map number five, which does complete all of our bands. Hey, I appreciate you being here, though. Thank you for being here, Jake. Where'd you come from? Where did, what did you do before? That's what I, where, where did you come from? What is your experience? I don't know. I don't know. I'm here to tell your story, but I got to know your story to tell your story. All right, you're Matt Poole here for today. Oasis Hollywood, Esperanza, Servasa, and WPG. If we need that map five. Okay. I was waiting until the gates open before I really started talking about this, but we are getting Junker Queens out of both sides here. This is going to be a race for a high ground. The Juicio support duo. And he's going to get 0907 there just a little bit quicker. There's a Kiriko on the other side there from uh, WIS Wis. Don't let me know if that's supposed to be Wis Wise. Could be Wise. Let's go with Wise. Battle in the corner comes uh, with 0907, putting two in the kill feed. Still has Jinx low. Able to run uh, Skiz Gravity off. Let's go with Skiz here for the rest of this. Skiz Gravity, that's a long name. That's a long name. Maps, comes up with a pick, though. First pick here for uh, Astral in this team fight. So we're going to come back into this thing. Now, control does go to 907. But Astral are striking back immediately as they send Mapsy right up the gut. Skiz is able to kind of loop around the outside. Now hunting down John, which we'll find that kill on Valicia. And Astral should flip this directly. There's the speed ring, racing on 907 to the high ground, and then, ooh, a huge rampage from, uh, from Mapsy over the top. Negated a lot of the early value out of the orbital ray, but the sound barrier from John Witch keeps everybody alive. Now a late Katsune rush in here from Astral. They're trying to run down Jinx on the other side. That's a shout, turn around, protect the back line there from Mapsy. 0907 has done a good job kind of solidifying themselves up on this high ground. Jinx is gonna drop down once Go hunting here for this hit scan in the back. Good shot onto Wise. We'll take them out of the fight. And a little help there from Bones. We'll find the kill on the Sudi as well. So, 0907 flipped this thing right back. Seems like neither team able to hold on to this point. Not the margins. Hey, my, my detail oriented brain does not like it, all right? Does not like it one bit. Jake still has this rampage ready to go. It's going right up to the high ground. Little swift step. Oh, that little Suzu's out. He turns right on the rampage. Hits two with it. Just positioning themselves beautifully on the back of that. Combined with the blade. It's a good fight win there for 0907. Flawless, as a matter of fact. Don't believe they dropped a soul. Looks like Sahara's out here. Oh, no, that's not Sahara. That is Bones out there putting in poke damage. Orbital Ray right on the doorstep here from 0907. As they just chase Mapsy down out of the back line. Sahara drops S play to make this a 5v2. And a couple of good fight wins here from 0907. I was initially saying that, you know, whoever had the point couldn't hold on to it. Well, 0907 made a liar out of me on that one here in these past couple. Though Skits lands a pulse on the outside. Trying to find an early pick here for. Uh, Astral to move back in, but with that kill from John Wish, it's just going to be a 4v4 back on this point. That's an overclock from Sahara along this outside, sliding right into the middle of the objective. Sound barrier from s in the back, and that's going to escort Astral forward. Headshot up top 
It's actually the sound barrier was invested from both teams. So not really an advantage there for either. Nobody has gone down until Wise finds that pick on the bones. Able to keep the high ground clear from what it looks like. Check in on Sudi here with the coach gun. The shot jinxes down. This first sub map will continue. We're not done just yet. Rush and Rampage already online here and available for Astral as they hold this high ground approaching this final fight. Jinx would like to build up to the rest of theirs, try to keep Bones alive, but no such doing. Great concern here, Rush, and the aggressive push from Astral works like a charm. That's four or five picks to none. And as the clock winds down, this will be Astral taking round one. Oh, I should have got in a window. All right, Jack Queen out for both of our teams once again. Okay, Sarah off of the soldier. She's going to pull up the cast here for a little bit. More close quarters combat. That is University. Ooh. Esplay already down as Jinx picked up one. 907 with a quick rotation. Just able to escape Mapsy and stay in a tight little bunch while Astral trying to uh, separate it into a 2 3 split. 0907 just stay together. That was until Bones comes up to the top and Jonah, which there to join, ends up with a double boop off the side. Flawless first fight. It's gonna take it down early, not ideal. Hunt it down out of the back of 0907 spawn. Do love the idea to try to pull him away to buy some space, but unfortunately, Mapsy and the rest just don't return in time. They're forced to kind of hold back here in the bookshelf. But Skets is now back. Ooh, look at Jotowicz's ult charge. Holy hell. That is an early sound barrier. Sudi takes Bones down, but Jinx is able to get the revenge with the Gracie. Rolling back towards the point. Now both support ults online. And with that, it's actually Astral who pulls the trigger on theirs first. Susan you need to mix in the pack. Ooh, and the knife lands on Jono, which a lot of pressure onto the Lucio. And yet they still don't pop the sound barrier. Only the orbital ray needed here from 0907. And they're able to win the fight on just the back of that. Nazer, thank you for the follow. So here, giving us the time as uh, Mr. Butler is thrown on to the objective. Fight skits with that dead eye before it will roll out safely. Uh, impressive move there from Sarah. Just kind of knowing exactly how much time they had to stand in right in front of that bob. Gets the value out of the dead eye. 90% on the board here for 907. Rampage, Sound Barrier, invested here from Astral. Sound Barrier in return from John Witch as Bones pulls out the blade. Finds S-Play and John Witch comes up with their second in that fight. Rampage throwing in on the back of it from Jinx to try to close this out. There was a sneaky flip underneath the nose of 0907, but they are handedly winning this engagement. Skits backing out with about 50 health, maybe a little less. 
Overtime has been started. S play taken down. I think Skits made it back to the point. Didn't last long. We're headed to the city center. Determine our map one victor. Maps is taken with Chuck Cream, but we're getting the Arisa out of Jinx in 0907. Is they make a very quick push along the south side? See how fast Jinx was speeding in. But fortunately for Astral, they rotated clockwise as well, or counterclockwise, that is. And up to the high ground. Keeping the skills on the down low. I just wanted to say that. I mean, that's just a. Gotta keep skills on the down low. Big Dynamite in and try to initiate this, but Jinx finds. Maps eat through all of that. And despite Skiz's and uh, Sudi's best efforts to try to isolate Lucio in the beginning of that fight, it is a pick on a Juno once all said and done. First cap still goes to a 9 7. So her is on a Reaper, by the way. And that just that that just occurred to me. Covering up from this high ground, you can see it. Just, if anybody tries to put pressure on the stairs, there they were to cover. Here comes the push out. The Nano Seven find a target and just run them down like a homing missile. They get you locked in, and there's just no escape. S play does find one trade. You still have skis on the outside, close to a pulse, and try to pursue the only remaining support here. Peel from Jinx is too good, though. Run off the tracer. Back to the drawing board here for Astral. Map C returning on a Doom Fist. Making their first swap of the series. Sound barrier invested. Jinx goes right into the back on a beautiful wall. Oh, Sudi thought they had an escape, and just the walls closing in around them. And that's three on the board for 0907. This does push that pulse bomb down in the back, and once again, uh, Astro will make them pay. You know, they, they do take their toll. Their tax, if you would. Whoops. Doc, you dropping an orbital on the front, and that's extra damage and extra healing. Ooh, but a bob on the back of Sahara. Forces them to kind of fight inside the Kitsune Rush. Not ideal there for the Reaper, and Bones ends up falling. Good rotation around, and Ashua found themselves on the point. Bones is able to teleport in right into the back with the double kill on the Death Blossom. And just when Astral thought they had found a little room to work, Sahara shuts the door in their face once again. And it's just a dwindling pair of DPS left here for Astral. This is the flip. Comes through, question mark. Sound barrier, here from Esplay. Try to hang on, a desperate situation there for Astral. In the back of this fight, Blizzard Terror Surge comboed to finish the map. And 0907 will take a 1-0 lead. <laughs> you are a speedy team. You got that right, Lucia. You got that right. Oh, my. All right, some stats there for map number one. What's the end time? S-Play's getting caught out a lot. 
the, the back line is, is really getting hunted down a lot here from Astral. 0907 doing a great job of that. And you can see only eight deaths in total um, between John Witch and Daki. And 24 deaths there for the back line of Astral. So we'll keep an eye on that and see how that plays out as this continues. We remind ourselves of this band headed into map number two. King's Row actually banned out by Astral. Who on earth bans out King's Row? My goodness. What is this? What is this game coming to? We'll take us to Hollywood here for map two. We see any subs? I don't see any subs. So here are Docky Bones, Jinx, Jada Witch, Mapsy, S Plays, Wise, Skiz, and Sudi. A very different look on this map from what we saw in our Wasp versus Virtus Pro match. Both teams bringing out the Winston here. Which, of course, means the auto break to back it up. And DPS lines are similar, but Sudi brings out the Sojourn this time around. Where we saw Sahara using it in map one. Sahara's going on over to an Ash. So sitting back on Cafe, putting some long-range shots into that high ground as Jinx goes into the top. And I've got to uh, swap your sides here. We're just going to leave it on some Jinx Paw for a moment. So Mark got a hold, but Sahara's low. Does have to drop down for a mini. Open up a little bit of space. Oh, that's a huge disruptor shot into the corner. Backing everybody up. Jinx put in an aggressive move down past the archway. Needs a purple, uses the bubble. Now Mapsy comes in. Look at a counter punch, and it works beautifully. Combined with Skiz, they're able to pick up four. Only losing one in the fight. And looks like this will be enough as the cap starts to come through. Oh, I was about to comment. Like, I was sitting here thinking on what was the difference in that first fight. And we saw Jinx try to make an aggressive move into that back line. We saw how much Wise and S-Play, you know, were kind of suffering there in map one. Uh, and in the, the first fight, it felt like they did a really good job of peeling and protecting that back line. Not that time. Second fight, Jinx is immediately able to pick up both kills on the supports. Now Bones is in, putting some shots down towards S-Play while Skiz and uh, Mapsy moving this cart forward a little bit. Oh, then the boost engage almost got completely devalued by a whip shot. But the sleep dart will do it. Oh, and back down to the low ground you go. What great peel out of Jonovich and, uh, and Doki there in the back. Now the Primal Rage in from Jinx versus the Rally out of S-Play. Oh, turns out the Hamhawk Fist to the Winston. Come out on top. Headed up to the high ground. Almost got another one. At least forced the recall out of Skiz. Skiz does have this pulse, but he's still got a Primal in play from the other side. Skiz almost got Ducky. His Ducky just barely makes it up onto that high ground. The pulse! Not going to make it. That was a little ambitious, sir. That's a Nano Boost thrown in onto Jinx. And once again, it melts through that back line. Three picks, as a matter of fact, there with the Nano Winston. And the defense heads back to the high ground. Although Bones does lose their duel down low. Oh, is Sahara going to get that kill? 
thought there might have been an opportunity for a pick there. Here, the shots pouring in from up top, and the bomb thrown right on into the hallway. Everybody's going to come fight inside this tiny hallway. At least that's, that's what 0907 wanted. They're able to force at least a couple in there and find two picks. Now, there goes... Um, whoops. Jinx, dive it in? Yeah, that, that, that didn't work. Tracer dual down low. What's going on up top? Bones thinks about, it's not about following him. He's just keeping him marked down low. That's the overclock out. Has a bubble in the face. He's going to break that down. Woo! Gets the jump shot on the Ducky. Can't quite muscle through Jonovich's shield. And Jinx has been able to pick up one on the other side. So. Despite the early fantastic shooting out of Sudi, looks like this is still going to be a 907 hole. Sudi has now come off of the uh, so onto an ash of their own. Try to match. Let's see if they can get that that. That two shot tap. And so here is pulling off on the other side. Also, I mean, the dynamite gives a, a decent amount of pressure as well. Speaking of pressure, there's a good bio name fighting both supports in the back, and the stick from Bones gets S play just as they hit Rally. Shot down, and Mapsy suddenly finds themselves just leaping up to the high ground by themselves. No support, just got a lot of rage to work with. Uh, it turns out raw anger is a poor substitute for two supports. All right. Maps are going grounded, pound. We also have a Sudi swap over to a Widowmaker. So it goes from Sojourn to Ash to Widowmaker. Kind of forces uh, uh, Sahara to really focus more on the front line. Doesn't end up putting a headshot down that direction. Oh, almost landed that shot onto the knee. Sudi is still very low trying to peak this. Meanwhile, a plethora of ults available here for the defense. Only 20 seconds uh, for them, for the attacking team to work with, for Ashwell to work with here. Maps it down. Primal looking to finish off Sudi. Does with the punch. Rally thrown in from S play, but. There's just nowhere to go. Nobody even remotely close to this objective. Might get a touch in there from Skiz. Skiz does make it onto the point. Nothing but blue jerseys remain, though. That'll be as far as this one gets. See the box of victory there on the left hand side of your screen. Not able to get around that 90 degree turn headed towards the jail. Sudi so looking to still try to decide which of which of the three hits game we saw on the attack do they want to pull out for the defense? Looks like they're sticking with this sojourn.
No early pressure to the high ground. It's just take the choke. Oh, that Bionade. That's going to be the end of Mapsy. Yeah. What a well-timed Bionade out of Daki. Uh, not throwing that one in too early. Catching Mapsy just before they wanted to jump out. Now the return anti is good here from Wise. The follow-up is just not there. Got to top up Sudi. And Esplay don't have the tank to try to push it on the back of this. Now Mapsy returns to the fight. You got Bones threatening in from the south side. Gets the dash melee on the skiz. The blink melee, that is. Ooh, nice sleep dart there, otherwise. Is it enough to stop the cat? Sudi moves on to the point. Picks up Docky, but now finds himself in a 4v1. Here comes the attack of precarious position for the defense of Astral, no doubt. Losing control of this high ground is essentially the map. You have no way to control the ground below. Jinx knows it. And you can see Sahara just pouring bullets in over the top. Jinx getting very aggressive, knowing they have this primal to work with. Bionade lands on the S play and Wise trying to push in. Hits their head on the jump, going to take care of the rest of the three. Meanwhile, this cart is inching ever closer. Guessing Skiz is the one to touch. Maybe Mapsy. Yep, that's just gonna do it. As Jinx holds off the entirety of Astral, bar the uh, bar the Winston. That's map two. Dominant. Dominant performance from 907 on the back of a stout defense. Uh, and, you know, backline back line just does not die. Once again, you're seeing... I mean, the support's not really more than the rest of the team fights uh, through that one. But we were still seeing some, some early kills onto those supports. We are going to get a side swap here. I'll go ahead and fix that for you now while I'm paying attention. Less confusing than doing it once we get into the game, I think. Double check our bands. It was Runasapi banned out here for map number three. Welcome to As you heard, the nice lady just say, we're headed to Esperanza, Esperanza for map number three. I see no subs. Back into the Junker Queen Mare. Ooh. Very much uh, a similar look that we saw in the first one. We're going to go into more of the dive style here from Astral. We're pulling up a Lucio Fury once again. We saw a little bit of this before. It was a Juno. No, it was Lucio Fury before. It was absolutely Lucio Fury before. It's the Juicy over here from 0907. And now we're down into a 3v3. Both teams are missing a DPS and a support. 0907 had the aggressive positioning. They go back for the bot.
Five for high ground? Well, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> As I said, these teams are eventually going to rotate up here. You know they are. You know they are. There's the shot dive into the back. There's Bones dashed in behind everybody, but quickly has to get back up to the high ground. Not able to find a way initially, but Sahara does eventually take best play down in the fight. Jinx will jump down low. Skiz finds Shadow and throws a pulse into the mix. Sahara will take them down. So just the Kiri and the Sojourn left. And then we're going to see Astral disengage, at least soft. At least a slight disengage. Ult advantage to 0907 here, winning two fights in a row, and as you can imagine, they've got ults on first. This ends now. Booty's already found one with an overclock before the sound barrier landed, but Jonowich quickly gets the headshots with the Cheerios. That's a rampage into the Katsune. Oh, yeah, I was say, Jinx got a couple with that. Beautiful knife, beautiful shot. Beautiful rampage. That's one way to devalue a Katsune Rush. Sahara? Sahara, see a ghost? Sahara's out here fighting their demons. Over the blade, over the blade. Sound barrier's down. Skits doesn't get it, so I think that's the target. Yeah, you, <laughs> Bones went chasing after that tracer. Like, wait a minute, you didn't get sound barrier. Uh, Force tracer's pretty quick. Force tracer's pretty quick. You know, particularly when you got a, a Lucio there. I don't even know if they had a Lucio speed on that. Didn't look like it. Jinx fighting themselves a little outnumbered up in the high ground. Rampage only hits Bones. Uh, it's not even enough to kill the Genji. Woo! Zuni trying to give chase. Not able to find it. But Massey does get the better end of Jinx down low back on the car. So, shout. Not going to get you out. Ducky will pick up that kill. No more no more tanks left on either side as Bones gets an execution. But S play gets the revenge. Wise trying to, to taunt Ducky into going into Kiri. around and try to hit some people going higher that was just a weird like astral tried to send uh tried to send sudi up for sight lines across the bridge with mapsy to keep jinx at bay and it just didn't work jinx just muscles right past mapsy uh you get a little speed from john witch in there and they just create a, a nice little sandwich well nice from 907's point of view Once again, you have a sound barrier here for the Katsune Rush, but Jinx doesn't quite have this Rampage ready to go. So, Katsune Rush could be just the ticket here. Let's check in from a Wisp Bob. See how it's looking wise, I think is what we settled on. Yep, and we're going to throw that right up the gut. CD on the back of it. Good disengage out the other side. I mean, you have Lucio and Juno. No shortage of speed. In fact, it's going to be the Orbital Ring and the Ray. Here for the re-engage, and S-Play just caught flat-footed. Mapsy not faring much better. And this extremely, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, marathon running composition. Like, they just cover meter, it's like there's no tomorrow. Talk about getting your 10,000 steps in. Sudi is trying to end it, but here comes Bone with the blade. Tickles Sudi out of overclock. We'll run Mapsy all the way back into a spawn. Oops, spies a Lucio up top. Gets a little bit of damage. All the backup in the world you could possibly have won. S play just completely surrounded as this bot approaches its final resting spot. Rampage will get out, but it doesn't make it to the cart in time. 0907, move up to 6-0 on the season.
With a flawless 3 0 here today. Very clean indeed. First map goes all three. Oh, uh, you know, once again, pretty close. But once we got into Hollywood, uh, I mean, it was all 907 from there on out. There are some stats from map number three. Jinx leading the server in damage. Fewest deaths as well as most elims. That's a, a, hell of a, hell of a hell of a map there. Hell of a series, actually, from Jinx, just in general. I think Jinx would have to be your MP, MVP through this. Uh, I mean, you know, your tank for your winning team always looks good as far as stats-wise and stuff, but I feel like Jinx had a particularly exceptional day. Uh, you know, led in elims, I think, in all three maps here. Yeah, absolutely. Like, by a considerable margin on all three maps. Tied, I guess, there, for, and then map three. Lead and damage as well? Absolutely. Oh, just barely on this one. Just barely beat out Sudi in damage, but did, in fact, lead in damage in all three maps as well. So, huge day there for Jinx.